This is a quick video of how to attach the Narashigi MMO-4 fine 3-axis hydraulic micromanipulator to our Minge 1000 microscope. So this is the micromanipulator right here and these hydraulic lines go to the joystick. This is the course manipulator, the UMM3C and this is the needle holder with its ball joint and in between the two there's a special return mechanism that we've added for this customer that allows them to quickly lift up and down the needle with the remote control. What they can do then is they can lift up the needle using this control so now I'm lifting it up and then once it's above the sample you can loosen this and then you can pivot the whole micro manipulator out of the way to change samples and then put it back tighten the screw and lower the needle back down and you'll be exactly where you want to be when you receive the microscope, things will be fairly assembled and easy to finish up. This bracket will already be mounted to the stage mounting bracket, and all you'll have to do, there'll be some blue tape here showing where the screws go, and you use this Allen wrench from underneath here to screw this bracket onto the bottom of the stage. Now, in this configuration, there's only one tricky part. The coarse micro manipulator, in order to get this nice and close to the field of view, has a mounting bar that's facing inward. Right here, you can see this mounting bar is facing inward, and there's not really enough room to slide the micro manipulator over it when the bar is in. So what you'll do is you'll have the bar out of the bracket, you'll slide it through the micro manipulator, and then you'll tighten the bar back into the bracket. And what you can do, you can use um, any kind of a metal rod, such as this Allen wrench, and what you'll see is there's a hole right here in the rod, and you can use that to get extra torque, turning it clockwise to get it nice and tight. You'll know that the course manipulator is in a good position when this Z knob still has a little bit of clearance to turn behind the stage. So that allows you to move the whole thing up and down like that. And then you've got your X and Y. So once that's done, then you can install a hydraulic micro manipulator by sticking this rod through here and tightening the bracket. And Normally, it comes just with this part right here attached to a fixed ball joint. Um, this is a nice needle holder, by the way. You can change the angle in two different directions of the pipette to compensate for other things. In this case, the standard ball joint's been replaced by the Narashigi UTR quick return mechanism that's a hydraulic mechanism that lets you lift up and down in a quick remote way handy for when you're changing samples. In each case if you have to get something a little bit tighter then you can turn it by hand. The different set screws have these holes in them also. So here's a hole in this set screw and I can stick something in there and use that to get a little extra torque to tighten it there. Another one that might be important is this one right here that attaches a coarse manipulator to that mounting rod. And that should be all that you need to do. Your main goal throughout positioning the lengths of these rods is that you want 
the needle holder to point to the center of the field of view, just like it is there. So by um, making some adjustments, you can get that to happen and still have range where you can use the course manipulator in either direction to quickly get the needle aligned how you want it to be. Thank you very much and enjoy your injections.